Just like humans, elephants also have a diverse range of options when it comes to their dinner choices each night. The consumption of plants by elephants is a well-known fact recognized by biologists and even young students with an affinity for animals. However, the task of precisely determining the specific types of plants that these emblematic herbivores consume is a more intricate undertaking. Innovative methodologies were employed by a team of global researchers, including conservation biologists from Brown University, to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the dietary patterns of two distinct elephant populations in Kenya. This analysis not only identified the specific plant species consumed by individual elephants within each group, but also shed light on the foraging behaviors of these groups as a whole. By gaining insights into the preferences and habits of individual elephants, this study contributes to our understanding of effective conservation strategies that not only ensure their nutritional needs are met, but also promote their overall satisfaction. The findings of this research were recently published in the esteemed academic journal, Royal Society Open Science. According to Tyler Kartzinel, an assistant professor at Brown University specializing in environmental studies, ecology, evolution and organismal biology, it is crucial for conservationists to bear in mind that when animals are deprived of the necessary nutrients, they may manage to survive, but their overall well-being and flourishing may be compromised. By gaining a deeper understanding of the dietary habits of each individual, we can effectively implement more effective management strategies for iconic species such as elephants, rhinos and bison, thereby ensuring the sustainable growth of their populations. DNA metabarcoding is a state-of-the-art genetic method employed by scientists as a primary means to carry out their research. Through this technique, Researchers are able to determine the makeup of biological samples by comparing the extracted DNA fragments, which represent the food consumed by an elephant, to a comprehensive library of plant DNA barcodes. According to Cartzinel, Brown has been actively engaged in the advancement of applications for this particular technology. In doing so, they have fostered collaboration between researchers specializing in molecular biology and those with expertise in computational science. This interdisciplinary approach aims to address the challenges encountered by conservationists working in the field. According to Cartzinel, this study marks the initial application of DNA metabar coding in addressing a persistent inquiry concerning the ecological dynamics of social foraging. Specifically, it investigates the decision-making process of individuals within a social unit, such as a family, when selecting their dietary choices. Cartzinel expressed astonishment when conversing with individuals outside of the field of ecology, as they often find it surprising that there has never been a comprehensive understanding of the dietary habits of these captivating and sizable mammals in their natural habitats. The primary obstacle lies in the inherent challenges and risks associated with closely observing these creatures as they tend to traverse vast distances, forage during nocturnal hours and frequent dense vegetation. Additionally, many of the plants that constitute their diet are relatively diminutive in size. Monitoring elephants is a challenging task and identifying their food visually can be exceedingly difficult, even for a botanist with extensive expertise. This information comes from Kartzinel, a researcher who has conducted field studies in Kenya. The research team conducted a comparison between a novel genetic technique and an established method known as stable isotope analysis. The latter involves a chemical examination of animal hair. Prior research by George Wittemeyer from Colorado State University and Thur Serling from the University of Utah demonstrated that elephants alter their diet from fresh grasses to trees during the extended dry season following rainfall. Although this comprehensive study enabled researchers to identify overarching dietary patterns, it remained challenging to differentiate between the various types of plants consumed by the elephants. Almost two decades ago, the scientists collaborated with the non-profit organization Save the Elephants to collect fecal samples. These samples were preserved during the stable isotopes analyses conducted by Wittemeyer and Serling. Remarkably, study author Brian Gill, who was a postdoctoral associate at Brown University at the time, discovered that the samples remained viable despite being stored for many years. 
To assess the dietary diversity of individual elephants in two separate groups, the team conducted a comprehensive analysis. This involved combining carbon-stable isotopes from both the feces and hair of the elephants, as well as utilizing DNA metabarcoding, GPS tracking, and remote sensing data. By comparing the unique DNA sequences in the samples to a reference collection of plants which was meticulously curated by Paul Musili, the director of the East Africa Herbarium at the National Museums of Kenya, the team was able to determine the diets of each individual elephant over time. Their analysis revealed that the variations in dietary habits among individuals were considerably larger than previously believed, including those individuals who foraged together as a family unit on a specific day. According to Cartsinel, this research aims to tackle a well-known contradiction within the field of wildlife ecology. The question at hand is, how do social connections manage to maintain unity among family units when resources are scarce? In simpler terms, considering that elephants primarily consume the same vegetation, it is not immediately clear why they do not compete for food, separate and independently search for sustenance. According to Cartsinel, elephants adapt their diets in response to both the availability of food and their own preferences and physiological needs. For instance, a pregnant elephant may experience different cravings and nutritional requirements at different stages of her pregnancy. Although the primary objective of the study was not to elucidate social behavior, the results obtained contribute valuable insights to the existing theories on why a collective of elephants engage in communal foraging. It is observed that individual elephants do not necessarily consume the exact same vegetation simultaneously, thereby ensuring an ample supply of plants for all members of the group. The discoveries made in this study could provide significant knowledge to conservation biologists. In order to safeguard elephants and other prominent species and establish habitats conducive to their successful reproduction and population growth, it is crucial to ensure a diverse array of edible plants. This not only reduces the risk of interspecies rivalry, but also serves as a deterrent against these animals encroaching upon human food sources, such as agricultural crops. According to Cartsinel, in order for wildlife populations to thrive, it is crucial that they have access to a wide range of food options. He emphasizes that each individual elephant requires dietary diversity and a touch of variety, not in terms of literal spices added to their food, but in terms of their eating habits. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.